Okay, if you need one for this week's demo, I'll be showing you how to make a chocolate caramel layer dessert. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to need is the standard size chocolate morsels and one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now you need these melted and if you're afraid of burning the chocolate or overheating the heavy whipping cream, you can heat them up separately in the microwave. So I'm going to first melt down the chocolate um, starting at 30, 20 or 30 second intervals and then I'll warm up the milk. So after about a minute and a half, this is what I was left with and the heavy cream took about a minute and now I'm just combining them. I'm slowly adding the milk and stirring the chocolate as I go. You're going to keep mixing until blended and set it aside to cool and then prepare your whipped cream. So start with one cup heavy whipping cream and then your powdered sugar. I used three tablespoons, anywhere between two and four would work. Use your electric mixer until it forms a stiff peak like so. Then you're going to gently fold in your melted chocolate mixture. Just doing a little bit at a time. To fold, you're just gonna scoop it from the bottom to the top slowly so you're not letting any of the air out of the whipped cream. And you're gonna do this until it's all combined. Once your chocolate mixture is all thoroughly mixed with no streaks, it's time to start layering your dessert. So for the layer of cookies, I'm using Enjoyed Life Double Chocolate Cookies. They are allergy friendly. You can use chocolate graham crackers or any type of cookies you want. Layer them on the bottom. You can use the broken bits to fill in any little gaps. And then you're just gonna scoop out half of your chocolate mousse mixture. Add another layer of cookies. Then add a drizzle of caramel. I'm using Hershey's caramel syrup, but you can use any caramel topping you like. Add the remaining chocolate mousse mix, spread it evenly, and then I'm just going to crumble up some of the remaining cookies for my topping, but you could add sprinkles, chocolate morsels, or nothing at all. And then I'm just gonna finish it with some more caramel drizzle and refrigerate. I found that it was best to serve after it's been chilled in the refrigerator for at least six hours to give the mousse time to set. And at the end, this is what your dessert will look like with your layer of cookie and mousse. You could top it off with some more caramel drizzle or even some plain whipped cream. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and until next time, stay well. Bye!